Good evening. evening. Welcome to St. Pius X Church for the Eucharistic celebration on the fourth Sunday of Easter. If you're a visitor, thank you for joining us today. Please come back anytime. If you are staying or residing in Randolph County, we request that you register with our parish. If you haven't already done so, registration packets are available in the back of church. Please join me in joining in praying the stewardship prayer. It is the orange prayer card in your pew. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Heavenly Father, my parish is composed of people like me. I help make it what it is. It will be friendly if I am. Its pews will be filled if I help fill them. It will make generous gifts to many causes if I am a generous giver. It will bring other people into its worship and fellowship if I invite and bring them. It will be a parish of loyalty and love, a fearlessness in love, and a parish with a noble spirit. And if I, who make it what it is, am filled with these same things, and therefore, with your help, O oh God, I shall dedicate myself to growing our faith by being all things that I want my parish to be. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A warm welcome to Wade Allen Pruitt, son of Jack and Nicole Pruitt, and all his family and friends. Wade Allen will be baptized at this Mass. Please turn off all cell phones if you have not already done so, and stand and greet your neighbor. We were debating that no changes on the No changes. I get in trouble. We have a baptism. Please stand to the side. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Dear parents and godparents, your, your family has experienced great joy at the birth of your child, and the church shares your happiness. Today, this joy has brought you to the church to give thanks to God for the gift of your child and to celebrate a new birth in the waters of baptism. This community rejoices with you, for today the number of those baptized in Christ will be increased, and we, we offer you our support in raising your child in the practice of faith. Therefore, brothers and sisters, let us now prepare ourselves to participate in this celebration, listening to God's word, praying for this child and uh, his family, and renewing our commitment to the Lord and to his people. What name do you give to your child? What do you ask of God's church for Wade? Baptism. In asking for baptism for your child, you are undertaking the responsibility of raising him in the faith so that keeping God's commandments, he may love the Lord and his neighbor as Christ has taught us. Do you understand this responsibility? And the godparents are ready to help the parents of the child in their duty. Way the Church of God receives you with great joy, in her name I sign you with the sign of the cross of Christ our Savior. Then after me, your parents and godparents will do the same. Glory 
to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill, to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to Keep God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill, to people of goodwill. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill, to people of goodwill. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children, and to all those far off, whomever the Lord of our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, save yourselves from the corrupt generation those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. I 
shall not want in verdant pastures he gives me repose beside restful waters he leads me he refreshes my soul the lord is my shepherd there is nothing i shall want the lord is my shepherd there is nothing i shall want he guides me in right paths for his name's sake even though i walk in the dark valley i fear no evil for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage the lord is my shepherd there is nothing i shall want the lord is my shepherd there is nothing i shall want you spread the table before me in the sight of my foe My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. A reading from the letter of St. Peter. Beloved, if you are patient when you suffer for doing what is good, this is a grace before God. For to this you have been called, for because Christ has suffered, also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten. Instead, he handed himself over to the one who judges justly. He himself bore no, our sins in his body upon the cross, so that, free from sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you have gone astray like sheep, but you have now returned to the shepherd in guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Lord 
be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, Amen. Amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice, as the shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, amen I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so they might have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, the fourth Sunday of Easter, also known as the Good Shepherd Sunday, it's all about hearing the voice of God and recognizing him and finding him as the gate. How, I'm sure God knows everyone, and God has the way of recognizing everybody, we have a baptism today, and Wade will be baptized. And he will be anointed as well on the forehead with the oil of uh, salvation, the sacred chrism. So that means that person is anointed forever. Anointed with the oil of salvation forever. So that mark is going to be there all the time. I did some kind of practice, uh, you know, when I used to say Mass in a nursing home, I, in my, in my uh, previous appointment, uh, every week I used to go to a nursing home, and every other week, another nursing home to say Mass. And sometimes you see a lot of new people coming in to, everyone is welcome for the Mass, but to give the communion, I have to have an idea. Who is Catholic, and therefore... Sometimes new people come and I ask them and they try to say they belong to this whatever parish in whatever place. And then sometimes they just be part of it and receive communion. It's fine. But I always make a trick to see if that one is a Catholic or no. You know what the simple thing that you can do? Okay, I, yeah, I would say, let's say a prayer. And they will say, oh yes, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. If Catholic will say with you, if not Catholic will look at your face like that, what's happening here? <laughs> so I, I use the trick all the time and it worked all the time, okay? <laughs> it's a way of knowing who is the Catholic, okay? But for God, what matters is the, the unction, the oil on our forehead or our life. The people of Israel, they, are, they were so used to these, all these shepherds. And for them, God was the good shepherd. God who leads them, of course, from the uh, land of uh, Egypt to the promised land. God who provided them with the manna and the meat and everything on their journey. And God who protected them. So all the works of a shepherd, so for them, he was their good shepherd. But in the course of time, of course, we know that they kind of looked around and found all these kings, and they also wanted to have a king. God told them, it's not going to work. The human kings are not going to be good. Finally, they found this uh, David. Of course, we know David was a, a shepherd. A shepherd tend to be a king, and he was really good 
far better than Saul and all the other people. But still that, that the, their understanding was the Messiah will come and Messiah will be the best shepherd. But their problem was that they always understood shepherd as a physical reality, a physical person who will lead us to the fine pastures, who will protect us. And say, for example, they thought the Messiah will liberate, uh, protect the people from the Romans and all the tax collectors. That did not happen with Jesus. They thought uh, the Messiah will provide them with food every day. Of course, he made some miracles of bread, right? The multiplication of bread, but not, not every day. So they were having a hard time to understand or accept Jesus as the Messiah. And we know, actually, Jesus was not a physical Messiah, a physical savior, the way they wanted him to be, but he was more a spiritual shepherd. Again, to get the meaning, he says, the, my sheep will hear my voice and they will follow me. In the Palestine of the time, they did not use any uh, dogs uh, to, you know, to control the sheep. And usually the shepherd would walk in the, uh, in the front, the sheep will follow them. But at night, they, for the whole village, there may be only one pen where the, all the shepherds will bring their flock and they all go inside through the one single gate. And the shepherds may go home and the caretaker will take care of them. The next morning, the shepherd will come. Of course, all these sheep are together now. They all belong to different shepherds. But they make a sound and their sheep will go to them. That was the practice, yes. And that's why Jesus says, my sheep listens to my voice and they will recognize me and they will follow me. And that's the context. And again, of course, the people had a hard time to accept Jesus as their shepherd because of the, the physical understanding and the spiritual understanding. So he is changing the whole thing into something else. You now he says, I am the gate. It's a new way of presenting the whole thing. I am the gate. We said we have the pen and the one gate. And the gate, he says, this is me, the gate now. So the inside and the outside. So keep in mind, the sheep usually go outside during the daytime, they pasture, to the pasture, you know, to graze and to, to get nourishment, growth outside. At night, through the gate, they go inside for protection. So, and Jesus says, you have to go inside through me and go outside through me. That means you need me, we have to go through me for protection and growth and life. Of course, the spiritual meaning is it's all about the eternal life. Through Jesus to protection, through Jesus to life, eternal life. How do we understand Jesus as the gate and the church? Last week we spoke about the Holy Eucharist, right? Yeah. So Jesus, protection, guidance, and the food and life eternal. So our church functions like the gate, the Jesus. When we go inside, it's all about spiritual protection. It's all about the spiritual food that we receive from the altar. So we are nourished spiritually within inside. We are enjoying the protection of God's hands around us here when you are inside the church. But you cannot stay inside the house all the time, the church all the time. You need to go out into the pastures. Of course, outside means the good grass is there outside, also the wild animals are outside. If you are prepared well, rested well with God inside, when you are outside, his protective hands are always with you. The food that we get from the table, the altar helps us survive the attacks of all kinds of animals outside. And we will also, that same Jesus will help us to be nourished, to grow outside. And every weekend, we come back to be inside the pen. We walk through him and we receive him. At the end of the mass, we go out into the world through him. So the sheepfold or the gate actually is the church. And what we do on a weekly basis is we enter into him and we go out. And we are nourished 
So Jesus as our guide, Jesus as our protector, and Jesus as our food, all that as the good shepherd. Because it's, he is way more than a good shepherd. Because he is the food as well, the gate as well. So it's simple. And like Wade, we all started our journey, and we all know about Jesus, and he is always with us. Even when we are among the wolves, he is there with us. Please rise. Dear brothers and sisters, let us invoke the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ for this child about to receive the grace of baptism and for his parents and godparents and all the baptized. For all clergy, may God's Holy Spirit fill them as they shepherd God's people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For national and civic leaders, may the Lord give them strength and prudential judgment in protecting all life. From conception until natural death, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who struggle to hear God's voice, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all gathered here, may God's strength strengthen us to follow Him in all that we do and say. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For married couples, that their love for each other may be a reflection upon those around them providing a sign of Christ's love for us, the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those celebrating a birthday this month, may the candles that represent the years of your life be a reflection to others of your love for Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the newly baptized, especially Wade Allen Pruitt, being baptized here at this Mass, may he always walk in the light of Christ, guided by the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have passed away, especially Bonnie Crane, may they rest in the peace of the Good Shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of this Mass, which are for the repose of the soul of Virginia Kelly, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. St. John the Baptist, pray for us. St. Joseph, St. Peter and St. Paul, pray for us. all holy men and women, saints of God, St. Pius X, pray for us. We do the prayer of exorcism and anointing before baptism. Almighty, our living God, who sent your Son into the world to drive out from us the power of Satan, the spirit of evil, and bring him, the human race, rescued from darkness into the marvelous kingdom of your light, we humbly beseech you to free this child from original sin, to make him the temple of your glory, and to grant that your Holy Spirit may dwell with him. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the strength of Christ, the Savior, protect you. As a sign of this, we anoint you with the oil of salvation in the same Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Dear parents and godparents, through the sacrament of baptism, the child you have presented is about to receive from the love of God new life by water and the Holy Spirit. For your part, you must strive to bring him up in the faith 
so that this divine life may be preserved from the the contamination of sin and may grow in him day by day so if your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility then mindful of your own baptism renounce sin and profess faith in Christ Jesus the faith of the church in which children are baptized so i ask you the questions to the whole community do you renounce satan i do and all his works i do and all his empty show i do do you believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. So again parents and godparents is it you will therefore that we should receive baptism in the faith of the church which we have all professed with you yes. wonderful yeah just wait i baptize you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit Amen. Now we do the anointing with the kasama. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin, given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit. He joined you, joined you to his people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation so that you may remain as a member of Christ priest prophet and king unto eternal life Wade, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. May this white garment be a sign to you of your Christian dignity, with your family and friends to help you by word and example. Bring it unstained into eternal life. receive the light of Christ parents and godparents this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly so that your child enlightened by Christ may walk always as a child of light and persevering in faith may run to me the lord when he comes with all the saints in the heavenly court may the lord jesus who made the deaf hear and the mute speak grant that you may soon receive his word with your ears and profess the faith with your lips to the glory and praise of god the father amen please be seated for the offertory within your peaceful world i have not seen ear has not heard what god has ready for those who love him 
We flower and we fade, yet all our days are in your hands. So we return in love what love has made. <clears throat> I has not seen, he has not heard what God Those who see with eyes of faith, the Lord is ever near, reflected in the faces of all the poor and lowly of the world. I has not seen, ear has not heard what God. Dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant we pray, Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, our Lord, but in this time above all, to load yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people excels in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. You are indeed holy alone, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and from by divine decision, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said, Apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Come give to 
let us pray look upon your flock kind shepherd and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your son who lives and reigns forever and ever Amen. please be seated well this coming friday there will be no mass here as i will be gone for the uh, rededication of our cathedral church but that mass will be available online and all are requested to uh, follow that mass if you can the uh, parents and god parents of the uh, of wade may come please you can go back to wherever you were earlier yeah wonderful we pray for the mother the lord god almighty through his son born of the virgin mary brings joy to all christian mothers as the hope of eternal life shines forth upon their children may he graciously bless the mother of this child so that as she now gives thanks for the gift of her child she may always remain united with him in thanksgiving in christ jesus our lord amen and we pray for the father May the Lord God Almighty, the giver of life, both in heaven and on earth, bless the father of this child, so that together with his wife, they may, by word and example, prove to be the first witnesses of the faith to their child. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. So, Wade, we welcome you into our wonderful community of faith. Welcome. the certificate of baptism and thank you for bringing way to church uh, thank you for being the god parents as well the whole family thank you very much for coming it's a time for anniversaries those who celebrate anniversaries this month please rise for a blessing anniversaries this month You can see there no problem here. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> Lord God and Creator, we bless and praise your name. In the beginning you made man and woman so that they might enter a communion of life and love. You likewise bless the union of these men and women so that they might reflect the union of Christ with his church. Look with kindness on them today. Amid the joys and struggles of their life, you have preserved the union between them. renew their marriage covenant increase your love in them and strengthen their bond of peace so that they may always rejoice in the gift of your blessing we ask this through christ our lord amen so happy anniversary <laughs> time for birthdays those who celebrate birthday this month please rise for a blessing birthdays this month birthday birthday God of all creation we offer you grateful praise for the gift of life hear the prayers of your sons and daughters who recall today the day of their birth and rejoice in your gifts of life love family and friends bless them with your presence and surround them with your love that they may enjoy many happy years all of them pleasing to you we ask this through Christ our lord amen, amen. so happy birthday Time for candies for those who celebrate birthday. You having a birthday this month? Those two boys. Me. That's okay. Yeah, I see. I I get there. I get there. I will be there. Thank you. I will be there. I will be there. Is that your birthday? Thank you. Yeah, I think he may be may not be happy otherwise. She may not be happy otherwise, right? Yeah. Yeah, I see. I saw you there. they may need something otherwise <laughs> birthday anniversary no birthday this side you oscar you have a birthday yeah one she has a birthday too wow 
Can they have the birthday this month, Kennedy? It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Oh, wow. Happy birthday tomorrow. That's for you. Yeah. Well, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, be good, Dad. Maybe somebody there? You have an anniversary? Christian, are you going to eat all this candy today? No, that's for him. That's for him. That's for him. That's for her. So I was going to give you something, but you got all already too much. Yeah, that's for you. There, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's sugar-free and all good, okay? You can eat it, yeah, no problem. That's for you. Thank you. Did I miss anybody? Somebody was there, I don't know why. You? You have a birthday, you just trying to hide? Anniversary. Anniversary, oh yeah. Thank you. That's for him, I don't know if we can eat it or no. Somebody? You have a birthday? Wonderful. Sorry, I missed you. Oh, you to have birthdays today, this month? Where are you hiding? Say thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. Yeah, wonderful. I hope I didn't miss anybody. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, all the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in bad. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan. And all the evil spirits who prowl through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. to be your disciples to bring all the world to the joy of your kingdom Alleluia 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 Fed with the bread of new life Filled with the wine of compassion, send us out to serve all the world in your name. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Join my choir.